This video podcast is for properly formatting the list of figures page for your dissertation in Microsoft Word 2007 using the American Psychological Association APA style 6th edition with regards to graduate students in the Orlean Bullard Beeson School of Education and Professional Studies. Be sure to always follow the guidelines set in your doctoral student's manual used for preparing dissertations. The first step in formatting your list of figures page for your dissertation is to center the text LIST OF FIGURES in all caps at 2 inches from the top of the page. The next step is to make the actual list of figures page. Although your formatting may be different, this is an example of a list of figures page and yours should have the same layout. The easiest way to format your list of figures page is by making a table. In order to make a table, click the table key under the insert ribbon, click insert table, and make a row with three columns and six rows. The number of rows you have will depend on the number of figures in your dissertation. Next, align the columns together, moving the right column to five and a half inches from the right side of the page, and the left column to about one inch from the left side of the page. Be sure that you have a space in between your table and your title. Now, label the top left column figures. Make sure that this word is centered within its column and add a single space underneath it. In this column, you will label all of your figures starting at 1 going in sequential order. Make sure all of your numbers have a period after them. Next, label the top right column page. Also, make sure that this title is centered within its column. In this column, write the corresponding page numbers that each figure is presented on. The top middle column should be left blank. The middle section is where you will list the title of each of your figures. Be sure that the titles in the text match exactly the titles on the list of figures. Once you have written the title of your figure, you should make a dotted line to the end of the column, like so. And then go one single space down. Mark the appropriate page number in the page column. Make sure that the number is centered within the space provided. You can make the table lines disappear by highlighting the entire table in order to make the table tools section appear. Click on the design ribbon on the top of the page and go to the borders section drop down box. Scroll down to the section labeled as no border in order to make the lines disappear. This page should be counted and numbered in lowercase Roman numeral form. In order to number the page in Roman numeral form, go to the Insert tab and click the tab labeled as Page Number. Scroll down to the tab that says Format Page Numbers. Change the Number Format drop-down box to lowercase Roman numerals. If you need to start the page at a different Roman numeral, you can change the Start At toolbar to the Roman numeral in which you wish to begin. Now you are ready to place the Roman numerals at the bottom of the page and in the middle section. Make sure you choose the bottom of page and plain number 2 tab.
This is an example of what a completed list of figures page should look like. As you can see, all of the figures are labeled and are in numerical order with their page numbers labeled. The list of figures page is also numbered with a Roman numeral in the bottom center. If your list of figures runs past two pages, begin the second page one inch from the top of the page. If your dissertation does not have any figures, this page is unnecessary for your final presentation. Regardless of the requirements dictated in your APA style guide, every page of your manuscript must meet these requirements for the Orlean Bullard Beeson School of Education and Professional Studies publication. The document should now be properly formatted for the Sanford University qualifications of creating a list of figures page.